Hi, this is Gene with Troy Built Models, and I'm going to explain the difference between the DJI S900 and the DJI S1000. Of course, there is a price difference. This one's $1,400, and the S1000 is $3,900, so there's a $2,500 price difference in there. In the S1000, by the time it's all up, you might have $15,000 to $20,000 into that. And all the rest of the components that are in the S1000 are going to be in the S900. You're going to have most of the same equipment. You're going to have the same A2 controller. You're going to have the same IOSD, the data link, and all the other components. So the uh, price is going to not be that much different when you're done with it. The size is going to be different. The uh, S900 is about 36 inches in diameter and the S1000 is going to be about 41 inches in diameter. So you've got five extra inches here that's going to give you a little bit more stability. The landing gear is about the same width because it's holding the same kind of cameras, same kind of gimbals. So the gear is a little bit wider, 21 inches on the S1000, 19 inches on the S900. They're going to both fit into the same kind of case. We sell a nice Pelican case from Fly Motion Media. They're both going to use the same case because they're about the same height, just about the same width. You can get maybe a little bit more peripherals into the case. Both of them are going to weigh about 75 pounds when you've got them fully loaded with batteries and everything else. The total weight is going to be a little bit different. The S900 weighs about a pound and a half less than the S1000. The total all up weight that you can have on this is 18 pounds on the S900 and it's about 24 pounds with the S1000. So there's a difference of six pounds in total all up weight. However, you've got that pound and a half difference in there. So your actual extra payload capacity is about four and a half pounds. So you're going to be able to lift quite a bit more weight with this. So that would be a combination of whatever your payload is along with your batteries. So there's been people who have asked us about delivering packages from the shore to ships and things of that nature. And so we can leave off the landing gear and we can attach packages right to the bottom, go over and drop them. This is the airframe to use because it basically has more lift capacity. And if you need to go out further, so if the ship's further out, you can put a bigger battery and carry a little bit smaller payload. As long as the total weight's 24 pounds, you can still operate this safely. There are six versus eight motors, and there's a few differences between that. First of all, if you have six motors, you're not gonna have quite as stable as a flight. Probably not real important. You're also not going to have the total payload lift. That could be important. For one thing, the Canon 5D can only be lifted by the S1000. The Canon 5D is great for inspections. So if you're doing inspections of flare and stacks at oil refineries, or you're doing bridge inspections, or you're doing wind generator inspections, that Canon 5D has really excellent Sensor size gives you a really good resolution. So that's, a, that's the camera to use if you're doing inspections. You need to go with the S1000. If you're just using it for cinematography and you're going with the Panasonic, 5, uh, sorry, Panasonic GH4, that's the most popular camera now. The Black Magic and the Next 7s are also fairly popular. You can put either of those on, on these. So you can put the same battery on here. Let's say we sell a 21,000 milliamp hour battery. You put the same battery on both of these, both running the Panasonic GH4. You're both going to get about 20 minutes. The time that it's going to fly though could vary a bit because you can put a heavier battery onto the S1000. So rather than use a 21,000 on here, you can go up in battery size. You can go maybe 25 to 30,000 milliamp hours 
and you can get an extra few minutes out of the S1000 with that GH4 camera. It may not be necessary for you. Maybe you'd rather have the smaller, lighter, less expensive product and that would work just fine for you. So I hope these explanations were good for you. And if you have any other questions, please, you can call us or email us and be glad to help you out. Please be safe when you fly. And thanks for watching.